everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a new playthrough. Today we're starting Final Fantasy XIV. Um, this is my first time ever playing this game. I have never played this before. I have no idea what this game is about. Uh, Story-wise, I have no idea. Like, I don't even know where the story begins. I know nothing. Um, the only things that I've seen from this game is this character creation process, as well as the... Uh, some clips of the actual gameplay, just to give me an idea of what this game is about. Um, but story-wise, I know nothing. And this is also going to be my first ever MMO. <laughs> I've never played an MMO before. Um, because I'm an introvert and, you know, people. <laughs> but I've heard that this is actually a very introvert-friendly MMO. That you can the main bulk of the game you can play solo um, and that's really appealing to me <laughs> uh, this is not my first Final Fantasy though I have played Final Fantasy in order I've played Final Fantasy 10 7 original 8 and I'm currently playing 9 so this is gonna be my fifth Final Fantasy um, now I have to say I think I made a mistake when I started this because before I started filming I was like, okay, well, I'm quickly gonna choose the data center before I begin. And as I did that, it started a cutscene, and I was like, no, 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 I'm not filming yet. I tried to pause it, but it skipped it. So now we're here. And I can't go back and watch it, so I might have to watch that from YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry that I skipped it. I did not mean to. Um, I thought I was just choosing the data center and then go to the menu and click start. But no, it didn't work that way. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. So like I said, I've seen this part. Not 100% not all of this, but like the main things I would say. Uh, and I have chosen to be a Mikate, I think. I was debating between Mikate and Aura, because I think Aura is cute too. Because I'm, I'm really into that feminine cute look. So for me, these two, this is this is adorable, but for me, it's I want something a little bit more woman-like rather than childlike. So, and I was debating between Aura or Mikate, and I'm still kind of, but I think I'm gonna go with the Mikate. Uh, but let's read about this. Uh, so Mikate, the ancestors of the Mikate made their way to Eorzea. So I guess that's the world. Uh, during the Age of Endless Frost. Oh, traversing the frozen seas in pursuit of the wildlife upon which they subsided. Adaptation to a hunting lifestyle has fashioned them with a keen sense of smell, powerful legs, and a tail which provides them with exceptional balance. Oh, Mikate are known to be very territorial, and many individuals tend to lead sol solitary lifestyles, particularly males. Tend to lead solitary lifestyles. Yeah, see, I'm Mikate. <laughs> um, oh yeah, also, I am playing on a controller. Uh, that is just a personal preference, pr plus I'm really trying to avoid using the mouse because I suffer from, I guess you, you'd call it tennis elbow. It's that excruciating pain that you get in your arm if you overuse mouse. So for that reason, that is like, if, if you've never suffered from that, count your blessings, you're lucky. Uh, if you have, I'm sorry, I know how painful it is and how painful it is to get rid of. It takes months and months to heal. Like for me, it usually takes around three to six months to heal. It's horrible. So I use controller whenever possible. The only games I play with a mouse and a keyboard are point and click games. So, yeah. But I think in the character creation process, I might end up using the mouse. I'm not sure. We'll see how this is built. Uh, race and gender. Mikate and a female. Yes. Wait. These ones I can see as well. Unique. We are your character performing various actions, such as emotes. Oh, you're cute! Okay, we'll do the standing one. And I am a Mikote. And... 
Confirm. I can always go back, right? Confirm. Oh, clan. Select your character's clan. Seekers of the sun, keepers of the moon. Oh. 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 I love her hair. Oh. Sun. Uh, a self-proclaimed seekers of the sun are the urinal clan of the Mikate race. They're preference for the warm light of day oh yes that's me uh, pervades all aspects of their culture as is apparent in their devout reverence for Azima, the warden keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry there are perhaps they are perhaps known best for their striking eyes the result of their vertically aligned pupil pupils oh um, and faintly colored irises. It is also not uncommon for their eyes to be dis disparately colored from birth, a trait considered auspicious amongst their kind. Seeker tribes can be found throughout Eorzea, with large concentrations appearing near Limsalominza and the Sagoli Desert. Okay, Keepers of the Moon. Shying from the garish light of day. See, that's not me. Mm, they revel in the Shroud of Night. Mm, I think I'm more Seeker of the Sun, because, you know, preference for the warm light of day. That sounds like me. I'm not going to read 100% everything, but I do want to read everything about the decisions that I make, if that makes sense. Okay, I think I'm going to do Seekers of the Sun. Confirm. Mm -hmm. Oh dear lord. This is that that's a that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh. 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 Doesn't change that much, I don't think, but I'm going to keep it where it was. Was it 50? I'm going to keep it where it was. I think, you know what, I'm gonna use this just to make sure. So is, I'm, is it height, yes. Bust size. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's put the controller down for a sec. I'm gonna do this on my mouse. Okay, so, oh my God, this is probably the first episode gonna be just the character thingy, but I don't wanna rush this, so I'd rather film longer and then cut something out. <sighs> Bust size. Ooh. Well, I mean, it doesn't really change that much, so. Was it in the halfway point? Oh, I can't do a halfway point? Fine. I don't know. Good? I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh, skin color. You're quite pale. Um, oh. 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 See, if you're a seeker of the sun, you should be more tan. <laughs> a step darker? Do we want to do even one more step darker? But is there no difference in here, like, or is it, hang on, there is a difference. It's the undertone that's the difference. So wait, is this more yellow undertone and this is more red undertone? Yes. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Um, I want a little bit more on the yellower side, I feel like. Because that's what I have. You know what? We're going to go with that. Confirm. I can go back to this, I think. Tail shape. Oh my lord. Okay. There's a very slight difference there. But I actually prefer that one over that one. Oh, it's got a little thingy at the back. Oh, fluffy. What's the difference between... Oh, it's brighter. And it's got a darker end. 
Can I choose the color of the end then? Oh, these decisions. How am I supposed to make decisions? This is pain. Do I want the fluffy one? The basic one? It kind of looks like it's chopped somehow. I'm gonna go with the fluffy tail. No, I'm not. For now, I am. Tail length. Oh, this changes things. Ooh. 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 I like it to be on the shorter side. I feel like that's fun. So now if I go to tail shape, does it change things? Maybe this looks better now that it is short. I don't know. Do I want a fluffy one or do I want a thin one? Oh, come on. I want the fluffy one. That's it. Hairstyle. Oh, this is where things get difficult. Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, love it. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, scratch that. That is adorable. Oh, it's coming. Somehow it looks so cute with the, with the ears. Oh my god. How am I supposed to make these decisions? Oh, I love these. And then it's short in the back. How is this different? The back is different, right? No? What's the difference? Oh, it's the color of that thing. Okay, okay. Oh god, there's a lot of these. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh my god. See, these are one of these things where I wish I could just choose something now, but then choose better later. Um, hair color is next, okay. Well, I mean, the color is gonna affect how these look, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to choose. Oh my god, that is adorable. Oh my god, braids. Braids are my thing. That's this hair. Oh, oh with a little bang? So it's kind of like me. See, this would be me right now. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, I like those. Oh, what is happening here? What is this? Am I gonna go with the... Oh, where was it? I lost it. With the bangs, this one. Let's pin hairstyle. What does that mean? Let's confirm that one. Hair color. Oh my god. Oh. I can have purple hair. This would look so cool. Ooh, silvery purple hair. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna have so much fun. So, I kind of want some kind of a cool hair color. So maybe like, uh, not necessarily pink though. Do I want the purple hair? Oh my god, this is actually kind of cool. Maybe, how dark do I want it to be? Either this or this. Wait, can I see? Ah, oh, yeah, see, this makes it easier to see what it looks like in the game. This seems like, if it's gonna burn that much, the light, then I might want to have a darker one so that it doesn't burn so much, but I... I don't know, should I go with this one? Have a purple hair? I think this is really good. Let's travel the world, shall we? See, that looks beautiful. I like it. desert. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna even look at the surroundings right now. I, I can't. I get overwhelmed. Gridiron residence. Highlights! I can have a highlights? Is 
So maybe my highlights can be of lighter color. The same hair color, but lighter. Or darker. I don't like darker highlights. I want highlights to be highlights, like lighter. Or do I want like a separate color? Oh, I don't really know. I want it to be darker than the actual, but the same color in itself. Yeah, like that. Is that gonna be our ha hair color? I don't know why I'm feeling the purple. See, it looks different in different areas. But I think this is the color that I want. See, here it looks beautiful. This is the color I want. But then I go into these different worlds and it doesn't exactly look the same. But am I still gonna go with this color? I think so. Let's go back here. Um, yes. Face, 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 face. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. I want this one, the one that's, yeah, I want that jaw. Oh dear lord. I actually like the type four. It's a little bit more round in a way. I love it, it's cute. Confirm. Eye shape. Oh my god, eye shape, iris size, eye color. Oh my god, okay. Eye shape, just the shape. So. Ooh. Oh my god, these are so similar. Okay, gotcha. Iris size, large, small. Large. I think. Because it's cute. Eye color. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. 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 <gasps> Should I have matching eye color? Can I change eye color later? If you can't answer that. I mean, this could be cool if you think about the hair. But if I ever want to change hair color, if I can, then what about the eye color? Yeah, that looks pretty. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Odd eyes. <gasps> you can make Yuna? I'm not gonna do that though. But it's so cool that you can do that. No, I think I think I want that. Yeah. We're going with the purple theme. I, I wasn't planning on that, but it kind of came with the hair. Like, there's something with the pastel purple hair that I just find so intriguing. Okay, eyebrows. Let's look at those brows. This is a bad... Bad hair for this, but... Type 1 looks good. Type 2 goes a little bit like that. Type 3 is thinner. We're not going into that... That style has come and gone. No? Type 5. Ooh, this might work. No, I'm gonna keep that, I think. Nose! Oh my god. Okay, we have type 1. I actually like the type 2 better. How about 3? Ooh. I think this is too... Um, this is good. That might go too low. Oh my god, somehow this looks really pretty. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That's your nose. That is definitely, that fits your face. Mouth! <sighs> oh god. Oh, this type 2 is what you have now, okay. Um, okay, type three is very thin. I feel like the type four actually looks the prettiest on her. Like, I feel like it actually is the prettiest on her. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's the prettiest. I want that. Oh my god, she's so adorable. Lip color. Color. Ooh. Do we want to go into the purple field? Have like that tint? Not the same color, but like have like a tint of some sort. Like that. We could go darker. Maybe a step darker there. That's pretty. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's terrifying how long I've been here already. Confirm. Facial features. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, you can't. Oh, I have to chew. Oh, what did I do? Whatever the change is, I can't see them. No, I have to choose them to. <gasps> oh, wait, no. Oh, 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 you choose to have them or not. <gasps> That's a scar. That's another scar. Okay. What is this? That's uh, colored eyebrows. Do we want colored eyebrows? Maybe that's a bit too much. I feel like this is just too much right now. Maybe this is better. That's like a dot there. I don't think I want any of these, thank you. Tattoos. <gasps> oh, cute, but I don't want... Like, like I said, there's too much happening already. I don't want extra in there. I would like to change these if I can. Face paint, I think it's that. Yep. Uh, tattoo color. We don't have a tattoo. So, face paint. <gasps> they can have makeup? Oh. Oh, that's adorable. I think these are a... Oh my god, they look pretty, but I don't want to commit to any of these. We have a baby chocobo. Oh, freckles. I kind of want to keep it like this. Like even these are pretty face paint color. Do I want to experiment with face paint color? I mean, I could make this like a makeup for her so she has ice queen I don't know if I want those though I think maybe not maybe I just want the plain look because the hair color already gives so much and the eye color so I kind of want to keep the rest of her face kind of plain because it's already a lot the eyes and the hair Reverse. Oh. Face paint color. Voice. Oh my god. That's a lot of laughing. Okay, I think the beginning side had better ones. Hang on. That's good. Oh, these are all weird. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go with the type 4. What happens now that I confirm this? Okay, so then I confirm my appearance. How is my appearance are we happy i have my purple hair and my purple eyes i was not planning to go purple but i guess i am she looks beautiful okay confirm save appearance data yes oh What does that mean? Well, I saved it. Yours and calendar. First astral moon. Specify a character's date of birth. 
If this doesn't matter, I'm going to go with 18th. The Eorzean year consists of the moon, Menfina revolving around Hydaelyn's two astral and, and umbral poles while fluctuating between each of the six elements. In this, the year can be said to be the length of 12 moons. First astral moon. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, what am I choosing? Select your character's patron deity. What does that mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh god, there's a lot of them. I think I'm gonna read these to myself, and then when I pick one, I will read that to you guys so that we um, we're not here the entire day. Okay, so here's the thing. If I just read these as is, uh, this sounds good. Nofiga, tender of soils and harvests and goddess of abundance, uh, is the guardian deity of Gridania. She commands the element of earth and is associated with the 11th moon of the Eorzean calendar. Nofiga is the daughter of Azema and the younger sister of Limleian. She is most often depicted as a jubilant farmer holding a scythe of steel. Her symbol is the spring leaf. I'm just, I'm, I, this just speaks to my soul, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, class! So I'm thinking I might go with Lancer. So I'm debating between Lancer and Archer. Lancer? Should I go with Lancer then? The strategy of the Lancers is to outra outrange and fluster opponents with their long two-handed pole arms, peppering them with a barrag barrage of thrusting attacks. They are trained with a number of weapons, giving a diversity to their attacks that makes them extremely versatile com combatants. In former times, the long spear saw the most widespread use, due in great part to the influence of the proud lancer legions of Ala Migo. Since then, the guild has greatly expanded its armories to include a variety, variety, variety of weaponry, such as the halber, halberd and the trident. Should I go with lancer then? Archer would be another one, because I like the bow. I kind of like it. Oh yeah, we have the attire, job attire. Oh my god, that looks funny. Kind of cool, actually. Lance, oh my god. Job. Is this what I'm going to look like in battles? Or when do I have the job attire? That's pretty... Oh my god, my tail, I just realized that it changed color as we changed the hair. Which kind of fits the whole... Wait, does this color here come from my hair as well? Like, if I change the hair color, does it change this? Or is that just accidentally the exact same color? As in here as well. <gasps> if that's accidental, it kind of feels like it's meant to be. But if it comes from those colors, then it makes sense. Oh my god. This kind of, like, this This is giving me some serious Robin Hood vibes, which mixed with some jester kind of vibes. I don't know. It's kind of cool, actually. Gladiator. I'm not gonna be any of these, I don't think. I think I'm gonna choose the Lancer. Conjurer would be nice, too. I want a physical thing to start with, and then I want to add magic later. I think that's what I want. Because I I do know that you can add these later. I, should I go with Lancer? That looks... When do I wear this outfit? In a set of job-specific gear based on selected class. So like that, it's normal looking like that. Oh my god, it looks so long with her being like that. Like, she's short and she has like this long speed. You know, it kind of works. 
let me read the Gridania there. Um, in the eastern reaches of the Aldenord landmass, home to vast, dense woodlands and cursing rivers, oh, lies the forest nation of Gridania. That sounds perfect. The cityscape is a mosaic of labyrinthine waterways and great wooden structures. So gracefully constructed, they seem a part of the surrounding environment. The favorite goddess of the citizenry is Nofika, the matron, but great faith is... Nofika is what I chose. The matron, but great faith is also placed in the wisdom of the seed seers. Young oracles who guide the nation based on will of the forest elementals. See, this, this just all seems like it's meant to be. So we're gonna go with this. <laughs> I wish I could see what's the last phase. I mean, I haven't even given this character a name yet, so we can't be in the end yet, so, but, oh. I'm gonna go with the Lancer, I think. Yes? Mm -hmm. You have selected twin, as a fact, as a, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Select another, I did not choose that. Why is that here? Um, Lich, I'm gonna choose Lich. I was debating between Lich or Phoenix. Just from what I read about them, they seem to be very chill. <laughs> I was like, I was really looking for a chill server, and these two seemed like the chill ones. I don't know if that's true, I'm just going based on what I found. Um, Lich. Confirm. Uh, name. Oh my god, this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? My name is gonna be used, I'm sure. What should I have last name? I have some options. I, if possible, I would love to go with my, let's, so that I'm close to my channel name. This would be close to my channel name, but I doubt that this is available. Um, but we're gonna try. Was I able to use that name? Begin a new game with this character. Because then the name is... Kinda, it kind of looks like my name here on the channel, sort of. That, that was the thinking there. Oh, we're going in! Let's take that away. <gasps> we're going in! World is color currently full. Okay. Lancer level one. I'm excited! I'm nervous. Like this is not one of those games where you think, "Oh, I'm 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 going to restart a new save file, so to speak." This is not one of those games. I'm always nervous to start games that go on forever and you can't make changes. <gasps> that looks pretty. That's me. With my purple hair. I love those yeah. shoes. I'm already scared. No idea what to expect from this. Oh, oh my god, that is actually pretty cool. Kind of scary, but cool.
Oi! <gasps> You're right, lass. Oh my god, we're so pretty. I love my decisions here. Grizzle, grizzle passenger, you were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be aether, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. So beautiful. Oh my god, I'm in love. Feeling better, Koopo? Um, if you haven't seen my banner, by the way. Feeling better, Koopo. Aha, you can see us. I had a feeling you could, Koopo. Furry creature. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. Normal folks can't see or hear us, which makes you special, Koopo. Oh, I like it. And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The woods been restless of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you chance to witness anything suspicious, Kupo? I'm so cute. Oh my god. But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Kupo. Gridania is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins. Youngins. Don't much care for the conversation, see? Breadmont's the name, and peddling's my trade. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of the new adventurers, am I warm? I knew it! Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and, fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. As long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring is a risky business these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Why did you become an adventurer? To gain power, to win glory, to amass fortune. To experience life, to see new places, to... I kind of want to say the slow... The, the... 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 I don't know. To gain power, no. To win glory, no. To amass a fortune, no. I'm gonna choose this. Chocobones! Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Breadman's a chatterbox, but he sure as hell ain't no busybody. I wonder if I can change the layout, I guess? Um, the text is really, really small for me to read. Um, I don't know if I can change the UI, I guess. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Me, dozens. And I'd rather, s and I'd rather they say secret too, which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. It's hard for me to read because it's so small. 
Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and, glo fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. That is a fact. Hello. Is that another Lancer? Hello. Halt. Go no further. What's this, then? Ooh. Ah. What's going on? A skirmish has broken out up ahead with the Ixal. I understand nothing of that sentence. For your own sa safety, you must remain here until... Are you gonna throw me into a battle straight away? Oh, those are archers. Ooh. Bloody hells. We shall hold them here. Try to break clear. I'm nervous. Okay, maybe not. I'm so excited. I wanted to play this for so long. That was too bleeding close. Nice of the Ixal to send us a welcoming party though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so you just take care, alright? By the by, is this your first trip to Gridania? Yes, or Gridania. Gridania or Gridania, I don't know. Yes, it is. Well then, let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Ooh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest luscious forest in all Eorzea. Black Shroud. It is beautiful. Though it ain't near us, near as lush as it used to be saying that. Not since the Calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and gave the Ixal unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids have become a daily occurrence. Ah, at long last. Behold Gridania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. See, this sounds exactly perfect to me. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Gridania, okay. Gotcha. Oh, do I have to press? Oh, yes, okay. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the seventh umbral era. Moogle balloon. This is However, so beautiful. The goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. Is that dialogue based on your decisions? If it is, that's cool. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. Like it makes you feel like this game was made for you, those little details. And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, and it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for keeping me company. What do I get? Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. May the matron take her to her bosom that she may never want. And in her heart, so serenity 
purity and sanctity. This is so beautiful. Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, yes. Here's where the journey begins. Yes, you. Hello. Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. Yes. How do you know? I am Bird Tenant, a wood whaler of Gridania. It is my duty to protect our nation from her enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see what you are. Can I actually move me now? Like, oh, 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 it's me! <laughs> Welcome to Gridania, a vibrant forest nation cradled in the bosom of nature. Let me just, we're in. Let me just take a moment to process information, process this feeling, because I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned that I, I, I'm, I'm highly sensitive to stuff. So I tend to take in a lot of stuff and I need time to process. For, for example, all the flowers and the water there and the, the icon, the dude and me, my name. I have a little sprout next to my name. We're in. Oh my god, I've wanted to play this game for so long. But I kept uh, pushing it off just because I wasn't sure if I wanted to play it because this is such a huge game. I wasn't sure if I wanted to play this on my channel or play this on my own. But I'm so glad I'm playing this on the channel because I get to film my first interaction with this game. And later I'm going to want to have that memory. So I'm sorry, I'm emotional. It's how I love Final Fantasy so much. It's so important to me. I get emotional about stuff like this so and I'm glad that I had my name because now it's connected to my channel name and I love it I wanted it to mean something welcome to Gray. yeah yeah we read that okay please select the control scheme you wish to use gamepad uh, I made these deci decisions already but I guess you're not remembering them I have to do them again <sighs> Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of the camera. When you are ready to proceed, speak to Bertinent. Main menu start. For me, it's options, I think. Open the Final Fantasy. No. Um, can I? Ooh. I love the music already. That didn't take long. Gamepad functionality and more. Yes. Gamepad. Thank you. I want that. Yes. Button configuration. No, it does remember it. Because um, the, tr the triangle and the square were wrong way around. Okay. Then we're good. We're good. We're good. <gasps> we are moving. Didn't you hear me? Come here and I shall guide you. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to, oh god. Initiating quests. Ooh, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Can I use mouse just long enough to get rid of this? Or do I need it? Maybe I need it. So, ooh. Bad button. I don't, ooh. 
Accepting quests. Once you've initiated a quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Okay. Press the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. Okay. Uh, coming to Gridania. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Another green adventurer, I presume. I presume. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Untested? Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Garline Garlin Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventures Guild, in case you were wondering. All of this information is just gonna go whoosh, but luckily for me, I get to start editing these and everything will come back to me. Make yourself known at the Garlin Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventures Guild. Garlin Canopy, Adventures Guild. The Garling Canopy is the building you see behind me, okay? Speak to Mother Mion within and she will take you in hand. Okay. Quest accepted. You have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Duty list. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list. Ooh, speak with Mion, okay? Uh, on the right side of the screen, a maximum of five quests can be displayed displayed at once. But can I accept more than that at once? Can be displayed. Oh, no, 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 no. I wonder how the buttons work. Not this, this is not what I used to know. Is this like... Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Bad button edits. Bad, bad, bad. Wait. How do I go? I'm not sure how the controller works with these things. Like, how do I go here with the controller? I don't use those. Hmm. This seems weird. I'm just gonna use this. Um, L1, R1. Well, I tried that. It did something else. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, selecting the title will open the quest in your journal. I have a journal allowing you to review objectives and rewards. Ooh, I like it. Thank you. Okay. How do I... Initiating quest. Select. Hello. What am I selecting? Select. What is this thing here? Like, how do I... Ooh, hello. Ooh, how... Initiating quests. Here we go. Uh, Non-player character... I still need to work how how everything works with the controller. Uh, Non-player characters and PCs offering quests can be recognized by the exclamation marks above their heads. To bring up the quest window, speak with the NPC by first targeting him, then pressing the confirm button. First targeting him and then pressing the confirm button. So that's how I... Is, is that that's how I target okay so then I just do this okay that's me oh oh okay what are those dots on the lower left corner right corner sorry so I have Lancer level 1 experience HP, MP, I have some kind of system here. Teleport, sprint, auto attack, return. True thrust. 
Oh, I have a new set of stuff. Use macros, player search, party members, friend list, emotes, teleport, return. I might just need to. Oh my god! Journal! I can edit these? So, I cycle through them like that. Gotcha. Okay, so using the buttons will take me a while to learn how to do, but this, like that, like that. Make yourself known at the garden with the local elevator. Yes, 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 yes. So as long as you are within Gridanian territory, you must abide by the Gridanian laws. Go now and do as I have instructed. So here is where we begin. Um... Okay, can I? Oh, <gasps> now I can look around. Alta. Is this the entrance to the city or town? <gasps> There's a tower. Oh my god. Did I have a jump button? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, look at that jump. Oh my god, that's so cute. Hee! I love it. I'm having so much fun. Oh my god. I need to remember that other people can see me, although I don't seem to see anyone here right now. I'm a little sprout! I have no idea how to play this game. I love the music here. Okay. Alright. Hello. Do I need to talk to you? <gasps> people? Ooh. Hello. So here and Mew. Where do I? Oh, Mother Mew. Collecting rewards. Complete a quest by speaking to the NPC with a check mark displayed above his or her head. Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards from items and guild to experience points. How do I get rid of that button? Select. Wait. This is something that I still don't understand. Okay. That's fine. Let me take that away. No, I need to target that one. And talk. Talk some more. Ooh. Well, well, what we have, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wandering young adventurer, come to put a name down at the guild, I assume. Welcome, Mion's my name, a mother Mion, as most call me, and the Caroline canopy is my place. As the head of it, as the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. Okay. In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eyes, all may seem well within with our nation, but not could be further from the truth. The people live in a state of constant apprehension. That crystal thing is beautiful. Oh my god, your top. The Ixal and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garlean Empire to the north. Guardian, okay? And that is to say nothing of the calamity. Oh, the little boy. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, uh, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years past, Eorzea was a well-nigh land to waste. Wait. The wounds have barely begun to... Five years passed, Irizia was well-nigh laid to waste when a dread worm emerged from 
within the lesser moon, Dalamud, and rained fire upon the realm. Is It is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square mom of the Twelve's Wood was spared the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. Interesting. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. So even they don't know what the heck is going on. Yet amidst the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing. That Eorzea was saved from a certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm. And yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. I love the music here. And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst, amidst a blinding glare. Thus have these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Oh. <clears throat> Pray do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another Warrior of Light, or only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. All that's left, then, is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scroll your name right there. Oh, and I would appreciate it if you used your real name. There is a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. What? Cat Magi. <laughs> Hmm, and you're quite sure this isn't an amusing alias? No, it's my channel name, just the other way around. <laughs> Very well. From this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed of the elementals and the bounty of the Twelves Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Look at what just arrived. Another god... God's damned adventurer. Thanks. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very salve that Gridonia needs. The elder seed seer herself played us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Elder seed seer. Of course not. Lest you forget, it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer. Mind that you do not cause any trouble here. I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the seventh hell. You're not going to be my friend. Ahem. Pay that outburst no mind. He meant only to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelfth's Wood of late, you see, and the Wood Whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. As is often the way with folks who live in isolation, Gridanians are wont, are wont to mistrust things they do not well know your good self included. Fear not, however. Given a catalogue of ex exemplary deeds and no more than a handful of years, the locals will surely warm to you. Handful of years? Well, I mean, I'm sure I will be playing this for a handful of years, but, you know. I just love Final Fantasy so much. 
On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridonia. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Now then, you may depend on old mother Mion to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. Coming to Gridonia. Complete. We did our first quest. <laughs> this concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first step as an adventurer in the city of Gridonia. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Mion, and then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. So how do I do this? It says pad button and select. Does that mean I have to press them both? Because pad button does not. So do I do this and this? Oh, <gasps> that's how I do it. Main scenario quests. Confirm. Okay. Important quests used to tell the story of Eorzea and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon. That's the main logo of the game, isn't it? Okay. Quests using the... Oh, now I know how to use this thing. That's awesome. Quests using this icon indicate a task of series... Or series of tasks are tied to new duties or features you have yet to unlock. Okay, so the those are main quest ones. Those are unlockable ones. Or things that un things that un by doing them you unlock something else english is hard it's not my first language um okay so that's the main answer main scenario quest can i get to that so we you know what before i do that before i do any of that Let's do one thing, because I've been playing for quite some time. Let's go outside here. There we go. I'm going to end this first episode here, and we're going to continue in the next one. Because we've been here for a long time. I knew that this was just going to be the main focus of this, was going to be the character creation and coming into this place. Um, but this is where it all begins. I am so excited to start playing this. By the way, tell me... I, I have my face cam here in this corner. Let me know if that's going to be an issue. For me, it seems like it's going to be a good place. The only thing you're missing is my area and the clock and the little tiny map. But I guess that's not important. I think this is a good place to have the have the face cam. I'm level two. I missed my first level up. Oh, oh dang it. You obtain 103 gil. You gain 400 experience points. You attain level two. Yes. Okay. So yes, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this first episode. I hope you stick around to watch uh, the rest of them as well. I am so excited to start playing this. I love Final Fantasy so much and I've been wanting to play this for so long and the main reason why I kept pushing it off was, like I said, I wasn't sure if I wanted to film this on the channel or play this on my own just because I knew that if I start filming this on a channel, it's gonna take a lot of, like it's gonna take a big slot. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited, I just want to keep going, but yeah, I'm going to end this episode now here, and we will continue in the next one, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, if you're new here, consider subscribing, and uh, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, I also have a lot of Final Fantasy playthroughs on my channel, so if you are interested, go check them out as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!